and welcome. My name is John. This is the Armstrong Fitness Academy, and today's session we have got a double kettlebell hell style workout. That just means it's going to be pretty tough. Okay, so you do need two kettlebells for this workout. There's no warm up, but please make sure you do do a warm up before you start this this workout. Grab some water and let's get cracking. Okay, on to round one, okay? The workout is split down into four different parts. Part one, or round one, you are just gonna need one of your two kettlebells. It's gonna be a mixture of body weight and kettlebell movements, okay? So, ten, there's five movements, and go through it twice, so that's 10 minutes long. 40, 20 split, boosh, get in. You ready? Born ready. Right, don't need to cut off the first one. <laughs> right, so down floor, we're going to do a kick through. So, okay, so we're into that all four position. Shoulders over the hands, hips over the knees, okay? Left hand away, kick your right leg through. Back to the start. Kick through the opposite side. All fours, hand away, kick through. And when you get good at it, you can start adding a bit of speed, twisting and turning. No, it's not. 15 seconds left. It's sticky on this mat. And rest. 20 seconds rest. You need one kettlebell for your next movement, which is the kettlebell squat. Goblet squat. So grab gamble, grab it by the horns or the handle, chest up, kettlebell high, send the hips back, feet flat, knees out, chest up. Brace your core, drive your feet through the floor. I wonder how many times a week I see that. A hell of a lot. Fifteen left. Keep the knees out. Back nice and straight. And just go as deep as you can. Last few seconds. And rest. Kettlebell down. But don't put it too far, because we're going to need it soon. Get it down on your back. Hollow hold. So, shoulders up. Lower back on the floor, abs tense. Legs bent, arms straight, hold. The goal is to keep your lower back flat to the floor. If your neck starts aching, take your hands around the back and just gently support the weight of your head or head. Don't pull on your head, just use it like a pillow. Keep bracing that core to make it harder. Extend your legs out like so. We'll be doing that in the next one anyway. Make it easier. Bring it in. Keep the tension on the midsection. And relax for 20 seconds. Cool. Overhead pressing again. One kettlebell. Two hands on. And we're going to be doing. A strict press, okay? A strict press above the head. Grab it by the, grab by the handles there, bang, straight above the head. So when I press above my head, kettlebell ends up slightly behind, okay? Don't press out in front because you don't want to lean back. Slightly behind the head. Brace the core, squeeze your bum cheeks, full extension, overhead. If you start struggle, Turn it into a push press. Back in, back down. 10 seconds. Full lockout. Yeah. One more, one more. And rest. Put it down, keep it near. So, last of the five movements. First time through, we're going to do a high pull, okay, from the floor. 
Okay. So feet up shoulder width. I'm gonna squat down, I'm send my hips back, my chest up, arm straight, tension on the core, drive high, back to the waist. Okay, shoulders back, pull the elbows high, and sit back down to the floor. So I'm hinging from the hips and I'm bending my legs quite a bit at the same time. Chest up, arms straight when the kettlebell's at the bottom from there, keep your chest up and drive. Drive with the legs, don't pull with your back. The head up, elbows high. And rest. So there's no rest between the rounds, sorry, between the parts, between the stages of the parts. Just go straight through again. Starting with kick throughs. Okay, 40 20 split again. All four position. Left hand away, right foot and leg through. Back to start. Kick it through. Left hand away, right foot through. Right hand away, left through. Extend the leg. And then you can pick up a bit of pace. Fifteen seconds left. Keep bracing the core. Let yourself move. Watch you don't catch the mat. Sticky feet. Rest. Goblet squat. Grab your kettlebell. This sweat on the Condensation, son. Okay, keep the bell high, feet flat, chest up, hips back, bend. Just keep your feet up, flat, drive your feet through the floor. And just go as low as you can go. Fifteen seconds left. Squeeze the kettlebell tight. Keep it high, keep tension on the core. Keep it moving. One more. And rest. 20 rest. Hold, hold, down on the floor. Just remember, you're going to try to keep that lower back nice and flat. So start position. Up, shoulders up. Lower back down, abs tight, bend the legs, arms like so. So if, you are, if your lower back is arching, you're in the wrong position, okay? Got to tilt the pelvis oh, the other way, brace the core, keep the ribcage down. So from here, you could make it harder by extending the legs out. Again, you've got to keep the trunk, lower back down. And from there, you can take your hands up and behind the head and then to make it easier hands in and legs in that'll do three two one rest awesome stuff two hand overhead press so make sure we're getting that overhead position right slightly behind the head brace the core Brace your booty. Ready? Okay. Grab it by the side, straight above the head. Keep the kettlebell high, keep it tight, keep the core tight, tight. Straight up, arms fully extended and back in. Halfway. You might start struggling. Push press it. Okay, it's the same end position. You're just getting a bit of help off your legs. And rest. Nice work. High pulls. Next movement. So remember, driving with the legs. Okay, drive with your legs. Get your back nice and straight. 
So from there, feet a little bit wider than shoulder width. Hinge from the hips, I'm bending, arms straight, chest up, shoulders back, drive, bang. Down to the waist, and back floor you get. That technique spot on, you can do it fast. Bang, then straight down. Okay, if it's new to you, I would suggest take it to the waist and then control it to the floor to get that downward part spot on. If you've got it, go for it. But remember, keep on using the legs. Ah, and rest. Nice. Nice work. Round one, or part one, done. So we're gonna have a minute rest there. And we're gonna start on part two, which is both the kettlebells. Right, on to part two. So as I said, double kettlebell. Okay, so there's four movements. 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest. And we're gonna go through that three times, 12 minutes, non-stop. So these movements that we're gonna be doing, most of them are from the static position, okay? So that position there, okay, from the floor, all right? So we're not doing the, the swinging variations, it's just a different variation that we're doing today, okay? Right, start my timer. So I said 30 seconds work, 30 seconds rest. All four movements on the double kettlebells. Right, so we're doing a double clean to start with, okay? So over the top, hinging from the hips and bending legs at the same time, okay? So from there, chest up, pull high into the body, okay? It sits between my forearm and my bicep. In close, that's a front rack position. Then back down, chest up, drive, and back down. Big breath in at the bottom, at the bottom, and then drive, whipping up the front of the body, bang, hand down, and rest, 30 seconds rest. Okay, so we're just trying to get these movements down to a T, with brilliant technique, all the best as we can do. Okay, always start with lighter kettlebells, I think, when you've got the techers, when you've got the techers right, up the weight. Next movement, double front squat. So we're gonna have them in that front rack position, so I'm gonna clean it up to start with, hold it up top, and squat from there. You ready? Chest up, clean, bang, keep it tight. Feet flat, chest up, tense the core as low as you can go, and then back up. Try to get the breathing to control, breath in at the top. Exhale on the way up. Keep the kettlebells tight. One more. Nice. Woo! Good work, good work. Okay, we're gonna be doing a rose. So it's alternating arms, starting from the bottom position, okay? So legs a bit wider. I'm gonna get right down low, okay? Arms are gonna stay nice and straight. I'm just gonna push with one arm or hand and pull with the other, okay? Chest up, nice flat back. Don't wanna see that. Chest up, bum back. Tension on the legs. Remember to breathe. There'll be a little rotation as you roll the weight, the kettlebell side of the body. That's all right. If you need to break halfway, just shake it out and go back into it. Keep the tension, it's a hard position to get into. It's a hard position to roll from. One more. And rest. Shake it out, shake it out. Okay, we're going on two double overhead presses. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna clean in the front rack position. That's my starting point, and I'm gonna bash them above my head. I'm gonna start with a strict press, and we're gonna move on to a push press. Okay? 
chest and thumb down, arms straight, tension on your arms, drive your legs, up the front of the body, start position front rack, strict press, kettlebells end up slightly behind my head, into the body, brace that core, brace your bum, okay, back in, okay, push press, little bend, bang, okay, getting the legs involved now, back in under control, down, one more, push, and down the floor, always put them down, under control, don't just fling them, okay, hear that, especially I can't fling them in here, can I, unless I want to pay for a new floor, which I didn't, cracking, first time round, got another two times to go around, okay, go through, right, so the clean, I'm going to an aggressive pull from the floor. Okay, feet flat, hips back, bend the legs, chest up, drive into the body in that front rack position and then down the floor. Back down. Back down. Back down. Back down. And down go. Woo. Front squats next. So remember, we're going to clean it up, front rack position, and that is the starting point. With the squat, I'm going to take a breath in at the top, and you go down on the way back up, halfway to full extension at the top, and then start exhaling. Holding tension on my core. Shoulders back, head up, chest up. Ready, right, arm straight, chest up, drive in, and we'll go front back position, slow my feet out, breath in, Keep chest up, feet flat, hips back. And relax there. Oh. Get it. Okay, rows. Just remember, about that position, wide, quite wide stance with the feet, getting down nice and deep, pulling the kettlebell at the side of the body. The legs are gonna burn a bit on this, okay? Hold lots of tension in your core, in a push with one arm, pull with the other. We need a break off here to shake it out and go back in. Okay, hips back. Sort your position out, shoulders back, flat back. Tension, pull. Back down, pull. It's good. 10 seconds. Flat back all the time. Keep pushing the hips back. Racing the core. One more. Ah. God, I am dripping of sweat. Overhead pressing again. I'm gonna clean it into the front rack position. And from there, I'm gonna go into my presses. I'm gonna start with a strict press and move on to a push press. You know how to do the push press now, so just bash on with that whenever you need to. Okay. Clean, chest up, drive, front rack position, tight core, tense the bum, straight up, slight behind the head, close into the body. On the front, try not to lean back, too much. Hold. And down to the floor. Twice through. Uno mass. One more. The slow burner. Cleans. Again, with the cleans, I'm starting to, get, starting to get tired. Exaggerate the movement as much as possible, okay? Be as, as explosive as you can. 
from the floor. All right. Way high. Hips back, bend the legs. Arms straight, chest up. Tension on the arms. Drive the legs. Bang. Straight up from the body. And back down. And rest. Oh. <laughs> Are you feeling it? I am. Feels good. Enjoying it. What was it? Foot squats. 10 seconds. And start with a clean, nice explosive clean. Sort my feet out. Get the kettlebells in tight. Get the breathing under control. Go from there. Ready? And clean. Up. Feet in my squat position might be a little bit wider. Kettlebells tight. Breath in. As low as you can go. One more. Good stuff, 15 seconds. Rows, rows from the floors. Oh, okay. Right. So, stand back from the kettlebells a bit. Hinge and squat, just further over there. Look for the sweet spot, chest up, arms straight. Bang, up the side of the body. Keep actively pushing your hips back. Make sure your shoulders are back. I like to say shoulder blades in the back pockets. Okay. Pull, bang. Use the other arm for balance. And then pull that kettlebell up the side of the body. One more. Bang. Rest. Awesome. Overhead press. So remember, try and start with strict pressing, okay, and then once you start burning out a bit, turn it into a push press. Or you can do push press from the very start, right, clean it up into position, ready, get yourself down, clean position, three, two, one, up, in tight, or straight above the head, back in to the body. Ten seconds. Let's go for one more. Ready? Get up. Down. Rest. Oh. Minute rest. That's part two. Done. Hope you enjoyed that bit. I enjoyed it. Great crack. Keep on sipping water. And give your kettlebells a wipe down if they're sweaty. Mine are very sweaty. Oh, ignore that. Another 30 seconds. Great stuff. Okay, so on to part three. Okay, so we're going to combine the okay, movements that we've just used and some bodyweight movements. We're going to do a five minute as many rounds as possible style circuit. Okay, so we do the first round together, and then if you want to go faster than me, you can go off on one. If you want to use me as a pacer, use me as a pacer, okay? So it's three movements. As I said, we'll do the first round together. It's five minutes, go through it as many times as you can. First movement is with the kettlebells, okay? <sighs> Going off my watch for the timing. timings, okay? So there'll be no beeping, it'll just be my voice. All right, kettlebells handy. The first movement is a clean and press, okay? So we're combining two movements that we've already learned, all right? 
and we are off. Okay, so clean over the top and just done chest up, arm straight, pull up into the rack position and then above the head. So that's one. We do three, up, two, up, and three. Cowboys down the side, single leg V ups, okay? We do six, hands above the head, reach for the toes. Two, three, four, five, and six. Up from there, 12 jump lunges. If you can't do jump lunges, do alternating back lunges. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, chest up, eight, nine, front foot flat, 11, 12, there we go. So that's just about a hit a minute. Keep on going through it as many times as you can for the next four minutes. Clean press, go, three, one, back in, back down. Two, chest up, three, weights down, single leg view, six, one, two, three, all the way up, four, five, and six, jump, jump lunges, keep that front foot flat, knee over the toes, okay, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. <laughs> Back we go. Two minutes down, three minutes left. Clean press up. One. Back in. Two. Nice straight back. Chest up. Drive with the legs, and down. Single leg wheels. ups Try to get your upper body completely off the floor. Two, three, four, five, six. Jump lunges. That's two and a half minutes gone. One, two. Let's try and get your back knee as low as you can go, okay? Oh, I've lost count, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. <laughs> Legs are gone. Okay, that's approaching our third minute. So when I'm starting to get tired, okay, that's three minutes. When I'm starting to get tired, exaggerate the movement, especially with the kettlebells. So chest up, arm straight, up, drive. Back in, back down. Two. Three. Single leg wheels. Six, one, two, three, four, five, six. Jump lunges. Remember, if you can't do these, do alternating back lunges. Okay. One, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh. Woo. Four minutes down. Last minute. Keep it going. Chest up. Arm straight. Drive with the legs. Oh. One, two, three, single leg wheel ups. You've got 30 seconds, 30 seconds left. Three, four, five, six. Oh, <laughs> oh I'm toasted. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 
And that's it. Three, two, one. Stop. Rest. One minute rest. <laughs> Woo. Wowza. Oh. God, I'm tired. Feeling it. It's good. We're nearly done. Don't go anywhere. We are nearly done. Okay, so just a little bit. So it's part four. We're going to finish with a bit of core. Just two minutes. Continuous plank work. Got 20 seconds. So we're going to start on the low plank for 20 seconds. Turn on to the right, turn on to the left. I'm not going to put my knees down at all, but if you need to, that's fine. Okay, two minutes straight through. Done. All right, low plank first. You ready? Don't think I am. Of course I am. How are you? Let's go. Three, two, one, low plank. Keep your abs tight. Let's finish the session strong, okay? Bit of aggression, let's get through it. Remember to breathe, body weight forwards. So, when I say change, you can go into your left form under the side plank. Okay, three, two, one, change. Arm in the air, hips up, body nice and straight, shoulder on the elbow. Keep, then keep yourself nice and tight in the core. So, when I say change from here, we're going to go onto the right. Ready? Three, two, one. Right down, up, and across. Exactly the same position. Nice straight line going through this left hand in the air, through the top of my, bi my bike, through the top of my back, into me support arm. Okay, from here, high plank, sorry, low plank. Now change to the high plank. Up and hold. Second minute. If the high plank's too much, go back down to the low plank. Shoulders over the hands, core tight. When I say change, side planks again, but on the hand. Three, two, one, and up. If you struggle with balance, drop the top leg. If not, one foot on top of the other. Again, nice straight line going through my arms. So from here, the right hand's going to go down, oh, and change, there we go, lots of time, awesome, 10 seconds, keep it going, three, two, and stop. <laughs> That is it. God, I'm sweating. Oh, that was a kind of good session, that. I enjoyed that. Pretty tired now. Hope you are. Hope you enjoyed it. Maybe the first time you've done double kettlebell work before. So, if so, good effort. Hope I'll see you next time. See you later. Remember, guys, if you enjoyed the workout, Give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and hopefully I'll see you soon. Cheers.